<laughs> oh. Oh no. No. Nobody should do this to themselves. Kids, don't try this at home. Don't. You're better off. Stay in school. But, uh, some great bands. We just watched all the bands we want to see. And, uh, the Coffin Cats. Phenomenal as usual. If you can't... If this transmission is out of focus, it's because I'm drunk. And no other reason. I'm down to like one sliver of a red battery sliver. So... I don't have much time. Tell my parents I love them. And then I'm sorry. Tell Melissa, tell Melissa's parents, my, my wife's parents. Tell them I'm sorry. I tried to get her home safe. It was Horror Hound that killed her. Anyway, this is like uh, Saturday night, Horror Hound day two. You're really fucking loud in here. I don't even know if you can hear me. Doesn't really matter. Just doing this for my own enjoyment. But I'm going to take you on a tour, but I think it's too loud to talk through it. Because uh, when I switch the camera, you're not going to be able to hear me. And my voice is almost gone from singing to the Coffin Cats and the Loveless. Which is indicated by my wife's wooing. As you hear there, they're both very good. And we bought a t-shirt to prove it. So I'm going to take you through just like a general looky-see of all the shenanigans before my battery dies. I'm flipping it now. I'm gonna flip you guys the fucking flip. I just I just got the Apple low battery warning, so I don't know how long this is gonna last. Send send the paramedics. God bless the smokers. Once again. I salute you. I salute you for not caring about your bodies. This is the front. This is like the lobby. This is the lobby. This is the lobby area. And uh, these guys are all smoking out here. Let's get the fuck out of here. You see that clown over there? Uh, I think he's never washed his costume. It smells like piss. Or something maybe worse. This is the entryway. As you can see, it's just fucking lined with people. And that lady. Sean Clark. But are just drinking. This guy's from the Loveless, he's awesome. Memorize his face. He's awesome. Super cool guy, talks to everybody. Rode the ride and got a t shirt. That's a lot of Mike's hard lemonade. Empty bottles. Most people are enjoying it.
Look at this. This is like, this is just like the general, like right off the lobby, general seating, cushy seating area. We got like Pizza Hut boxes. I don't even know what you would put in that blue bottle. Like maybe Siberian vodka or something. But like, you scan around and like, they stood in front of us. It was like, it was like pillows on pizza boxes. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with that? There's pizza boxes under this chair. The wife says it's brought to you by the letter P, but I don't know. It might be Pizza Hut. They might have brought it. It's debauchery. This is why the Middle East hates us, people. Look at it. It's excess. An excessive nation. There's garbage everywhere. This is the Marriott, by the way. A Marriott hotel. The employees, they don't care. They really don't care, I guess. Look at the garbage under this table. This place is starting to look like the Knights Inn, and that's like... I can't even describe to you what that means. It's, it's horrible. There's shot glasses. Somebody left their Tupperware. <laughs> Who are you gonna call? This with Harold. I mean, not Ghostbusters too. Cause that movie sucked. If you have a question, ask this guy, Steph. What's going on? Yeah. Periscope! Periscope! Yeah. Oh, Jessica Cameron, everybody! I love Periscope! I love Jessica Cameron. <laughs> not, as, not as much as Periscope loves you. You should find Heather Dorf and tell her to get naked. She might. Whoa! You know this is live, right? I do! That's why I did it! She doesn't give a shit, everybody. She doesn't care. Uh, Jessica Cameron was on Periscope Live with Heather Dorf on her way to Horrorhound because I follow. And I woke her up in bed. If you love your friends, you wake them up in bed on Periscope. I promise you dick pics, but Jessica Cameron is not going to whip out her dick. Oh my god, I should totally follow that. I want to see that. Monster movie have a good night. Thank you. That was Jessica Cameron. She did a film called Truth or Dare that we've been wanting to see. It's coming out called Truth or Dare. Truth or Dare. It will be on MTV. It's not. It's like My wife has been waiting so long to see it. Really? I'm so flattered. She has. In the fall. Fall is coming out. She's part of the Soska Syndicate, and oh. that's that makes you an awesome person. It's all about girl power and horror. It fucking is. It fucking it's is, right? Damn time. I'm just gonna follow you around. Go right ahead. Until you call security. Right? <laughs> no, I don't. You don't call security. He's he doesn't do anything. He's really nice, but they don't exactly help. <laughs> the Soskas. No. Oh, security? <laughs> no security. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fuck those guys. Have a good night, Jessica. Bye, Cameron. darlings. Bye-bye. So this area is uh, pretty empty as usual. I'm not going to go back there. Jessica Cameron's on her way out. Out. Can't believe my battery hasn't died. There's more people coming down this way. If Bob is saying uh, anything, I love you, Bob. You're gonna break the seal. You're getting all fucking girly and sentimental like you are, but that's the liquor talking. We're heading out. We're heading out to the Eternal Horror Flame monument that I talked about earlier. And hey, if I hadn't said it before, Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas to you and yours. 
And, uh, you know, if you have a little crippled Tiny Tim at home, Merry Christmas to that fucking crippled retard. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. That's not nice. Is that Tiny Tim was... Tiny Tim was okay with everybody, and me included. So, like, uh, I mean, this is no huge pool party. Damn it. But there's some dudes hanging out here. I'm guessing that the people that hang out here are probably snorting meth because it's dark outside and nobody can see them. Oh my god, we got a pagan ritual going on here. Look. Look, there is a sacrifice of some sort. Let's head over here. There's a bonfire. Pretty sure I saw a virgin. Holy shit! Oh, you guys got a bonfire. That's awesome. Yeah, look. You can have a bonfire too if you come to the Marriott Hotel and Resort and Hotel and Motel. Or whatever the fuck it's called. There's more fucking garbage out here. Those guys with the bonfire had no sense of humor, so we're gonna move on. They looked at me like I was about to fucking fuck their moms. So uh, we're gonna move on to uh, maybe we can catch somebody doing meth. Those guys were not doing meth. I think these guys, oh, this guy's just like, he's working it. Probably trying to get a little piece. Hi, everybody. He's trying to, he was trying to, he was trying to tap that. Tap it. Right? Right? These, these are the guys right here. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. All right, we're good. Tom, no, but oh. Tom is an amazing... Hey, man. thanks. Thank you for holding the door for me, sir. Thanks. Have a good night, sir. I don't know who that was. All right, so uh, that's pretty it. Pretty, pretty it. I'm going to go with that phrase because I said it when I was drunk, and it probably means more than the normal English language sentences. So that's pretty it, everybody. Merry Christmas to you. Uh, tuck your kids in tight. Don't let them do math. Hey, wait a minute. Here's Chris Kuchta. Kuchta. Oh, we were just celebrity Yeah, oh yeah. What was that like? We're on, we're on our Oh, awesome, awesome. In all honesty, next to Basil Gogos, this is my favorite <laughs> artist. Ouch. Oh, thanks, man. And I'm not even lying. If I could spend eight thousand dollars on one of his paintings, I totally would get one. Eight grand. <laughs> and, you, and you should too, because he needs a new uh, Nexus. Star yeah, Nexus right. phone. <laughs> and, Bad phone, dude. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and he spills a lot of half and half, so. That that's right. That's right. All that's over like, himself. That's like hundreds of dollars a year. That, that's why they're eight grand. They come with a private uh, a Sunday, you know. <laughs> No, but buy his stuff. He's, <laughs> he is an awesome artist. Even though he's very humble, look at him, he's very he's embarrassed. Thank you. But he's an awesome artist. And if you think he's not, fuck you. <laughs> Alright, I'm signing off, everybody, before my battery dies. I want to talk to Chris and uh, see ya.